Hey friends, on today's video, I'm going to show you one reason why you may not be able to connect PancakeSwap to your Trust Wallet on your phone. Now again, there might be multiple reasons for this. I'm just gonna show you one reason or one way that I've found that I've been able to fix and wanted to share with you guys. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I've got PancakeSwap open here on Google Chrome, but I also have my Trust Wallet open. So let me jump over on Trust Wallet and we're in the settings section. You can find that in the bottom right-hand corner of your Trust Wallet. Again, I'm using my iPhone with the Trust Wallet app. Okay, so see that little wallet connect right in the middle there? If I click on that, you can see that we've got our connections that are set up in this area, including PancakeSwap right here. Now, if you're on PancakeSwap and you click the disconnect button, this will actually remove that specific connection. Now watch what happens when I go back to PancakeSwap. Now, I'm gonna refresh things really quick. And as you can see, there is now that connect uh, button there. Now, this is the problem you may have run into. If I click this now, and I click on Trust Wallet, you can see that it goes through a cycle, but then goes back to this specific Connect Wallet section here. And basically what's been done is we've had that disconnect happen on the Trust Wallet side. Now, here's the bummer. We actually can't walk through that Connect Wallet process until we do a refresh on the PancakeSwap cookies and other web data so that this actually refreshes in the background and is able to set up a brand new connection. So what I'm gonna do for that, again, this is using Google Chrome, but the same process is most likely gonna work if you're using Safari or another web browser. I'm gonna click on the bottom three arrows in the bottom right-hand corner. This is gonna bring up our settings options for Google Chrome, and I'm gonna click on settings. This is gonna bring up our Google Chrome settings, including privacy right there in the middle. I'm gonna click on privacy. And then at the top, you can see we have clear browsing data. I'm gonna click on that. And then as you can see, we have some options. I'm on time range going to click on that and just make sure it's in the last hour. I don't wanna delete all of my history, cookies and cached files. And then you can see the first three are checked. That's really all you need to do. And I'm gonna click on clear browsing data. Okay, depending on how much you've browsed in the last hour, that should just take uh, a quick amount of time there. I'm gonna click done now. And then we're back here on PancakeSwap. Let me refresh this. And then when I hit connect wallet, we can now click on trust wallet. And as you can see, we're now able to go directly into that wallet connect application. I'm gonna click on the trust wallet. And then as you can see, it's setting up and confirming a brand new connection with the Binance Smart Chain. I'm gonna click connect here. And there we go, PancakeSwap is now connected. If I go back here to my Google Chrome, you can see my wallet is now available up there in the right hand corner. So that's a quick little fix, friends. If you're having problems clicking that button, it just won't refresh, won't connect. Try clearing out your browsing history and trying the connection again. All right, I hope that's helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. Let us know we're making good videos and subscribe because we're making a ton more of these little tutorial videos to help you out on your cryptocurrency journey. Check those out. Subscribe. We'll see you again on the next one.